The North British Locomotive Company NBL, NB Loco or North British was created in 1903 through the merger of three Glasgow locomotive manufacturing companies, Sharp, Stewart & Company Atlas Works, Nielsen, Reed & Company Hyde Park Works and Dubs & Company Queen's Park Works, creating the largest locomotive manufacturing company in Europe and the British Empire. Its main factories were located at the neighbouring Atlas and Hyde Park Works in Central Springburn, as well as the Queen's Park Works in Polmadi. A new central administration and drawing office for the combined company was completed across the road from the Hyde Park Works on Flemington Street by James Miller in 1909, later sold to Glasgow Corporation in 1961 to become the main campus of North Glasgow College, now Glasgow Kelvin College. The two other railway works in Springburn were St. Rollick's Railway Works, owned by the Caledonian Railway and Cowlairs Railway Works, owned by the North British Railway. Laterally both works were operated by British Rail Engineering Limited after rail nationalisation in 1948. In 1918 NBL produced the first prototype of the Anglo-American Mark VIII battlefield tank for the Allied armies, but with the armistice it did not go into production. <laughs> <laughs> Steam locomotives NBL built steam locomotives for countries all over the world. This included North America, Canada, Newfoundland, South America, Argentina, Paraguay, Europe, France, Spain, Sub-Saharan Africa, Angola, Gold Coast, now Ghana, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Malawi, Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, South Africa, Middle East, Egypt, Palestine, Asia, India, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, China, Japan, Malaysia, Philippines, and Australasia. Australia, New Zealand. The New South Wales Government Railways purchased numerous North British locomotives, as did the Victorian Railways as late as 1951 Oberg, Locomotives of Australia, the Western Australian Government Railways also purchased many North British locomotives, such as the P-Class. Between 1903 and 1959 NB supplied many locomotives of various classes to Egyptian state railways. They included 40 of the 545 class 2-6-0 in 1928. Between 1921 and 1925, NBL supplied New Zealand government railways with 85 NZRAB class locomotives. The whole fleet of AB class engines numbered 143, as built, of which 141 entered service. Two were lost at sea. See below. In 1935, NB supplied six Palestine Railways P class 4-6-O locomotives to haul main line trains between Haifa and the Suez Canal. In 1939 NB supplied 40482 locomotives to the New Zealand Railways Department NZRJ class, some of which were later converted to JB class oilburners. In 1951 NB supplied another 16 yaw class, though these did not have the American-style streamlining of the J class. Together with the NB predecessor firms, North British supplied about a quarter of the steam locomotives used by the NZR. In 1949 South African Railways bought more than 100 2 8 4 locomotives from NBL and these became the Class 24, some operated tourist trains on the George Nisna line until 2000. Additionally South Africa also purchased some of its Class 25, 4, 8, 4 engines from the company between 1953–55. These successful engines with various in-service modifications survived until the end of steam in South Africa in 1992. 
NB also introduced the modified Fairley locomotive in 1924. In total South Africa purchased over 2,000 locomotives from the North British Locomotive Company. As of January 2010, Umjeni Steam Railway operates SAR Class 3 BR engine 1486, NBL 19690 of 1912 and now named Maureen, on the line between Kloof and Inchonga, a distance of about 23.5 km miles. She hauls vintage sightseeing trains some coaches of which date back to 1908. In 1953, Renfa in Spain acquired two 5282 locomotives from the North British Locomotive Company. One example, 141 F 2111 works number 26975 of 1952 is preserved in working order. Locomotives made for railways in Britain and Ireland included the Barry Railway, Class F, Caledonian Railway, 72, 113, 944, and Oban classes, Furness Railway, 1, 3, 98, and 130 classes, Glasgow and South Western Railway, 128 and 403 classes, Great Central Railway, Class 8B, 8J, Great North of Scotland Railway Class F, Great Northern Railway Classes H3 and O2, Great Southern and Western Railway 211 Class, Highland Railway Lock, Ben, New Ben, Castle, K, and X Classes, London and North Western Railway Prince of Wales Class, London, Tilbury and Southend Railway 51 and 69 Classes, Maryport and Carlisle Railway, Midland Great Western Railway Class B, Midland and South Western Junction Railway, North British Railway, B, H, J, and L classes, North Eastern Railway, Class Z, Taff Vale Railway, A class, War Department, Rod 280. After 1923, customers included the Great Western Railway, 5700 class, London, Midland and Scottish Railway, Fowler 3F, Fowler 4F, 4P compound, Stanier 2 cylinder 2 6 4T, Jubilee, Royal Scot and Stanier 8F classes and the Experimental Fury, London and North Eastern Railway, classes A1, B17, K3 Thompson B1, and Thompson L1, Northern Counties Committee Class U2, Southern Railway L1 and N15 King Arthur Classes, War Department Stanier 8F, WD Austerity 2 8 and WD Austerity 2 10 0 Classes Locomotives 22,878, 22,879 and 22,880 In 1922 the New Zealand Railways Department ordered a batch of its very successful AB-class Pacifics from NBL, to be built and shipped as soon as possible. The trio 22,878, 22,879 and 22,880 were built amidst this batch. 22,878 and 22,879 were loaded aboard SS Wiltshire and she sailed for Auckland, New Zealand, but she got into difficulty at Rosalie Bay, on the east coast of Great Barrier Island and sank. Remnants of both locomotives, and the Wiltshire can be seen on the sea floor. 22,880 was dispatched on a subsequent sailing and was put into service in New Zealand as AB class number 745. This locomotive was in service for more than 30 years but then hit a washout near Hawara. It was then left in the mud for nearly 50 years but has now been exhumed with the intention of restoration. 
It was moved to the nearby town of Stratford, New Zealand for preservation by Taranaki Flyer Society. Due to the TFS headquarters being sold from under them, 22,880 was put on the market, and has been taken into storage by Rimutica Incline Railway Heritage Trust, after the Taranaki Flyer Society was liquidated in December 2013. Topic: Diesel locomotives. Whilst highly successful as designers and builders of steam locomotives for both its domestic market and abroad, North British failed to successfully manage the transition to diesel and electric locomotive production in the wake of the British Railways' 1955 modernisation plan. It did build a Paxman engine diesel locomotive, British Rail 10800, originally ordered for the London, Midland and Scottish Railway before the 1948 nationalisation of British Railways, but not delivered until 1950. This was closely followed by eight 625 horsepower, 466 kilowatts Bobo diesel electric locomotives for the Ceylon Government Railway (CGR Class G2). Another Paxman engine locomotive was PVH1, built in 1953 as Paxman Voith Hydraulic One, hence the identity for the Emu Bay Railway, Tasmania, and survives today, preserved at the Derwent Valley. Railway Tasmania. Its wheel formation is D being a hydraulic transmission locomotive, so in appearance it looks like an O-8-0. It also built eight Paxman engine shunters British Rail Class D-2 over 1. In the late 1950s North British signed a deal with the German company Mann to construct further diesel engines under licence. These power units appeared in the late 1950s. British Railways (BR) designs pre-tops British Rail Class D3 over 1, later D3 quarters, and later designated Class 21, Class 22, Class 41, Class 43, Warship, and Class 251, Blue Pullman. None of these were particularly successful. Constructional shortcomings with the MAN engines made them far less reliable than German-built examples. A typical example of this was the grade of steel used for exhaust manifolds in the Class 43s. Frequent manifold failures led to loss of turbocharger drive gas pressure and hence loss of power. More importantly, the driving cabs of the locomotives would fill with poisonous exhaust fumes. BR returned many North British diesel locomotives to their builder for repair under warranty and they also insisted on a three-month guarantee on all repairs a requirement not levied on its own workshops. <laughs> <laughs> Electric locomotives In the early 1950s, the General Electric Company GEC won a contract to build 40 electric locomotives for the South African Railways SAR Class 4E NBL receiving the sub-contract to manufacture the locomotives with GEC-supplied electrical components. GEC and NBL Co. operated again in the construction of early 25 kV AC electric locomotives for the West Coast Main Line WCML electrification project of the early 1960s. GEC won a contract for 10 locomotives and sub contracted the mechanical design and construction to NBL, Class AL 4E3036 E3045, later Class 84 84001 84010, entered traffic in 1960 61. As with its diesel locomotives, the class suffered poor reliability and spent long periods out of service. 
A partial reprieve came when money was made available to extend the electrification of the WCML north to Glasgow but no immediate funds were available for more electric locomotives. The Class 84s were refurbished in 1972 and pressed back into service, being finally withdrawn between 1978 and 1980 following delivery of Class 87 locomotives. Decline <inaudible> 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 In 1959 GEC, Clydesdale Bank and Hum Treasury invested in a restructuring program at North British to enable the transition of the company from steam to diesel electric and electric locomotive manufacture, centered around production of the Class AL4. Perhaps unwisely, North British supplied many of its diesel and electric locomotives to BR at a loss, hoping to make up for this on massive future orders that never came. This and the continuing stream of warranty claims to cure design and workmanship faults proved fatal. North British declared that it was entering voluntary liquidation on the 19th of April 1962. Because of the unreliability of its UK diesel and electric locomotives, all were withdrawn after comparatively short lifespans. The Atlas Works site is now an industrial estate and the Hyde Park Works site is now the campus of North Glasgow College. The Queen's Park Works site on Aitkenhead Road in Polmody is now given over to a variety of industrial and commercial uses. Topic: Preservation. Thailand. Locomotive number 21816 with NBL plate stands outside Lopuri railway station. A locomotive with NBL plate on stands outside Chumpon railway station. Topic Australia Several industrial shunters have been preserved, including PVH-1 by the Derwent Valley Railway Tasmania, and No. 27654 by the Lanelli and Minid Mar Railway. A number of steam locomotives still exist in Australia, including, some operational Victorian Railways R-Class 4 6 4 engines, several Dubs engines and PMR Class 4 6 2 locomotives of Western Australia, RX Class in South Australia. X South African Railways Class 24 No. 3628 is in Cairns, owned by the Mainline Steam Heritage Trust. Israel The tender of one of six North British 4-6-O steam locomotives built for Palestine Railways in 1935 is preserved at the Israel Railway Museum in Haifa. <laughs> Malaysia Three North British steam locomotives are preserved, one in the Malaysian Army Museum in Port Dixon and one in Butterworth. 564.25 Kuala Lumpur. Behind Butterworth Railway Station. The locomotive that is in Port Dixon had its name and number changed between 564.21 Salama and 564.12 Alor Gaja, until it is preserved using the second number and name. The only surviving North British steam locomotive in Malaysia is 564.36 Termela, which has completed restoration works in Batu Gaja, however, it is still inactive and currently preserved in the old Johor Beru railway station as most of KTMB's driving crew have no training or experience on operating it. <laughs> New Zealand <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> South Africa. A 284 SAR class 24, number 3664, North British build number 26386 of 1949, affectionately called Joanna, still does regular tourist trips in and around Pretoria and one NBL built GEC class 4E electric is being preserved at Belleville Depot in Cape Town. The Outaniqua Chu TJOE uses the Class 24. Atlantic Rail two does regular trips with SAR Class 24 No. 3655 in Cape Town. Mainline steam have in storage in South Africa the following 26,052, 19D 3,332, stored at Bloemfontein. 27,787, GMAM 4,135, stored at Friends of the Rail, Pretoria, South Africa. <laughs> United Kingdom LMR 600 Gordon A2 design for the War Department survives on the Severn Valley Railway. About 21 North British diesel shunters are preserved, mostly by public museums or by preservation societies on heritage railways in the UK, e.g. the Scottish Railway Preservation Society 3 SRPS, Diesel Group 4 owns D2767 and returned this to working order on 25 June 2008. A list of these with information and photos can be found on the World of Preserved Shunters website 5. The only surviving North British mainline electric locomotive is Class 84 a 2 feet 6 in 762 mm gauge North British 4 6 2 steam locomotive belongs to the Vale of Ridol Railway Museum collection. It is not currently on public display. SAR Class 15 F482 steam locomotive, number 3007 is exhibited in Glasgow's Riverside Museum. O 4 ODHW 6 W type. Cadbury No. 11. 27814 of 1958. Sold to Gun Range Farm Scrapyard, Shilton, Coventry, August 1988. Still there in April 2001. O4 ODHW 6W type. Cadbury No. 12. 27490 of 1959. Sold to Gun Range Farm Scrapyard, Shilton, Coventry, August 1988. Still there in April 2001. O 4 ODHW 6 W type. Cadbury No. 15. 28,038 of 1961. Transferred to North British Maritime Ships of Hull, West Glamorgan by 1987. Stored at Britain Ferry Shipping Services by 1999. In working order but out of use. Acquired by P.J. Madison of Swansea in April 2001. See also Category – NBL locomotives <laughs>